Good morning, I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and today's the day that the chickens are going to get put into their new coop. So real quick, I'm gonna show you some angry birds. I feel horrible, this, is, this process has taken us longer than we planned. So my five girls are in there, but they'll be out tonight. Um, we did pretty much get everything ready for the coop last night, which was Monday, April Fool's. <laughs> um, but it was getting dark, and I want to be able to do a video to show you guys about wing clipping and nail clipping. So we decided that we're going to wait and put the girls over today. So they're enjoying hot oats. It's literally just plain, um, old-fashioned oats. And then it's got a ton of crushed red pepper in it. Uh, chickens cannot taste capsaicin, which is like the spicy element in, you know, jalapenos and peppers and stuff like that. Um, but it is great for parasites. And then there's raw garlic in there too. So just to kind of help them out, give them a little boost. Uh, I wouldn't give that to them every day. Um, even if your chickens are free ranging, you know, you should have their, their food available 24 seven, but um, they haven't had anything in a while and I feel bad they've been cooped up <laughs> so there's five birds so this is what the coop looks like right now we have added another lock my husband look at this he used his birthday money remember his um, his birthday was moving day it was Friday right and he got some cash for his birthday he used the cash to go buy himself a saw <laughs> and he redid that nesting box door we've added some of that decomposed granite. As you can see, I did a really good job of spreading it around and everything. They've got crushed oyster shell waiting for them over there. Their tire is in there. I need to get some more dirt for that. Um, and then my husband fixed the roost setup. So now, you know what, let me try to open this with one hand. And this is gonna be a quick video because my daughter is freezing. Um, so now we've got double carabiners. The bedding is all inside, etc., etc. All right, here we go. Just really quick. So the roost bars as they were before, it was kind of like, I, I don't understand. So now the roost here goes up to this level and make sure you always bolt down roosts and things like that. You assume that the chickens can climb on stuff without it falling, but you know, they're not as graceful as you may think. And then they have the roost bar there and there. There are the ramps to get all the way up to every level. So in here, um, it is um, sand, and some more of the decomposed granite, and then that's PDZ on the top that'll get mixed in with everything. I do need to do poultry dust as well, but I didn't want to do it yesterday. So this is what the ground looks like. The purplish gray that you see, that's more crushed oyster shell. Um, that's just to help their crop. It sort of acts like a disposal, and then it helps their body grind up food before it goes down into the stomach. I only had enough pine left for one nesting box because these nesting boxes are really big. So that one for now is empty. But that one's clean and ready to go. It still smells like vinegar in here just a little bit. Um, I was cleaning out a lot of the old wasp nests that are just in the range of the chickens, but a lot of them it's kind of like, I'm just going to leave them. And then this nesting box will, um, I guess, eventually be inhabited. I'll get some more pine and I'll put some in there just to see what my chickens do. So it is ready for them. Um, we do have more plans, of course. We need to do the plastic sheeting around, which we're going to try to do today. Um, we do want to add a ramp for this bar over here. Um, I'm going to hang their food and water from those hooks that are existing with chains. I'm not going to be able to do that today because I don't have any chain yet. But I mean, um, you know, there's there's areas in here for, for treats. You know, there's more hooks. I think it's really smart just to have hooks everywhere <laughs> for, you know, whatever you can think of. You can bring in a treat ball. You know, you can hang up a head of cabbage or lettuce or whatever. So the coop is ready to go. Um, Dean had a great idea. Yeah, he's right. We do need to try to seal this wood eventually. Um, you know at least the exterior pieces we're also expected uh, today is Tuesday we're also expected to get heavy rain this weekend so I guess at that point we'll see what improvements need to be made as far as that is concerned um, the storage bin has been moved right over here so I have all of my chicken stuff that can't get wet is in there their food all of their treats all of that stuff all the scrap wood is under there so it's not going to be a safety hazard for real simple mama when she's out here doing videos um, we fixed all of these spring hooks. I mean, I say we, that was my husband. Um, and then this is how we open this up and, and clean where the roosts are. So it's a cold morning here. The chickens are getting nice and warm with oatmeal and we're gonna do the reveal tonight. We'll put them over once my husband gets home from work. And I will be doing a video just to show you. It'll be a really quick video. It's not gonna be like, you know, super calm and zen and me going step by step, but I will show you uh, basically how I clip 
chicken wings and chicken toenails if that is something that, that you think you might need to, to deal with. I'll show you um, kind of what to look at and I'll try to show you what I use and things like that. It's a very simple process, but it is one where I think um, you need to see it being done or see what you're supposed to cut or not cut. Um, and again, I do I cut the bare minimum possible. I only cut one wing and I only cut the feathers that I absolutely have to cut. I don't cut all of them. Um, you'll see, I basically cut the, the bigger half of the feathers and not the other half and it's sufficient. My girls can kind of fly a couple feet in the air. You need to do like a, a, an extended hop type thing, but that's it. So we are very excited and today's the day. So this little coop will be retired temporarily and they'll be moving in tonight.